Colorado Secretary of State has announced a statewide investigation is now underway after alleged voter fraud was discovered during the signature verification process in Mesa County. Denver 7's Christian Lopez joins us live from the state capitol tonight with this evolving investigation less than two weeks away from Election Day. Christian? Yeah, good evening. 12 voters in Mesa County have been impacted by this fraud. Secretary of State Jenna Griswold says, unfortunately, three of these ballots were counted and says this cannot be reversed. But those voters will be allowed to vote again. Griswold said at least a dozen ballots were filled out, signed and returned to a postal box, not a ballot drop box. The Secretary of State says the fraud was discovered during the signature verification process. Two voters were contacted by the clerk's office because their signatures didn't match. Those two alerted the clerk's office that they actually had not received their ballots yet. Another person contacted the clerk's office when they got a notification from ballot tracks but they also had not yet gotten their ballot in the mail. Those alerts prompted this major investigation. The Mesa County Clerk's Office is now going through every envelope that has been processed to double check everything. It's unfortunate three ballots got through, but overall this situation was addressed very quickly by the Mesa County Clerk. Uh, there is a criminal investigation going on right now. Uh, and I, I do have faith that the district attorney in Mesa County, who has proven himself to be a, a very trustworthy partner in election, actual election integrity, will do a good job. So I think Coloradans can rest assured that this problem was caught very quickly uh, and it was addressed. Any voter that is concerned should go to GoVoteColorado.gov. You can sign up for ballot tracks right there and get a notification as to where your ballot is in the process, has it been voted. And we don't know how many possible suspects could be involved in this. The Secretary of State also could not say who the fraudulent votes were cast for, but we do know that those 12 voters will be getting new ballots. Live from the state capitol this evening, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christian.